All right, you guys, so I know this is probably gonna be a little hard to see, but this is a ceramic coated mouse pad. It's black and this thing is absolutely massive. I got this from TJ Exclusives. I will leave a link to their website as well as their Twitter in the description below. He shout out to them for sending it out. And also, um, I don't know if this is like engraved or put on or what, but they also put my name on it, which is pretty cool. And I think that this mouse pad is, uh, is massive. Like this thing is absolutely huge. Like it measures in at just under 16 inches tall just under 20 inches wide so i'll put that up in millimeters right now for you guys uh, the exact dimensions but this thing is freaking huge and i do love using it but i have been doing a little bit of a b testing with this pad as well as my skypad 3.0 so this mouse pad is a glass mouse pad that is also ceramic coated which does a couple things for you so it's actually more controlled than you would think and it is also quieter than using a straight up glass or tempered glass mouse pad one thing and one complaint that i did have with the skypad was just the fact that like when i used it it was pretty loud to use and even though the Sarah pad is not necessarily quiet either like I'm definitely not gonna call it quiet because it's not but it is quieter than the sky pad which is pretty huge to me like so here's the Sarah pad for example Yeah, Skypad is just like a little bit smaller than this version of the Serapad that I have. So for whatever reason, especially when it comes to the sound, it makes the Skypad sound like it would be incredibly inconsistent. And using it, once you get used to the speed, it doesn't really feel super inconsistent. So I can't really vouch for that. But as far as the sound, it sounds like the glass is just picking up more things on the mouse feet in comparison. And I know somebody is gonna ask if it's a good idea to use glass mouse feet with a glass or a ceramic mouse pad. But I don't really know if you guys understand how physics works or not. Like if you rub two hard objects together, it doesn't really work that well. I don't wanna do this really to mess up these skates because they're so nice. But if you rub glass together, it's less quiet, but I can definitely feel and hear all these little micro abrasions, like literally start to mess up the mouse skates. So I wouldn't do it on a glass mouse pad and and I also wouldn't do it on a ceramic coated glass mouse pad either. Like the glass sliding on glass is quieter, but it does not feel better than PTFE. And I cannot honestly sit here and tell you that. And I can see these skates getting so dusty and so dirty from rubbing these two literal hard surfaces together over and over again. It just doesn't make sense. So I wouldn't do it personally. Getting back to using this mouse pad with PTFE feet. One thing that I noticed about the Sarah pad over the sky pad other than the noise is just the fact that the for whatever reason the ceramic coating is a lot more controlled than the glass is the glass it's really fast and it's fun to use i guess as long as you're using headphones and iems honestly preferably are closed back but using this definitely just feels a lot more manageable and a little bit more of a premium experience than the sky pad honestly offers using this is really really nice but i will also say that this does feel more controlled but at what cost the cost is you absolutely have to use this little uh sleeve they give you one of these as well and the, uh, well they gave me one i don't know if they give you one but they gave me one of these little tj exclusives gaming sleeves and normally i never ever use gaming sleeves like it's, this is really just not my thing but this is 100 percent a must if you are going to use this mouse pad like if you're going to use the ceramic coated pad you 100 percent need to use this sleeve as well because if you don't your arm will just get stuck on the pad and you won't really be able to move your mouse but if you use the sleeve it's pretty easy and it's just like using anything else as you guys can see it's getting a little bit dirty obviously because i got lotion on my hands and stuff and you know it's a black glass surface that's going to retain moisture oils and stuff like that so obviously you have to clean it pretty often i definitely find it an enjoyable experience wearing headphones um i definitely would not say to use this if you live in a really hot climate and you don't want to wear a gaming sleeve all the time um it's pretty comfortable i don't mind it but if it's really hot you're probably not going to want to use this all the time so just keep that in mind if you live in a colder state like i do i live in michigan even though summertime right now it's getting a little warm um if you got an ac obviously then you'll be fine to use this all the time personally i don't really love using these gaming sleeves so i do wish that the pad was a little bit less sticky to use but obviously that would also affect the control 
and the speed of the path. So you got to pick what you want to do. You got to pick your battles. Do you want a really fast and controlled mouse pad that's also as big as you want it to be because they do have multiple sizes available on the website as well? Or do you want to use uh, something that's louder like this guy pad? and doesn't feel as nice to be frank so that's just been my experience using the tj exclusives mouse pad obviously you guys have seen a little bit of gameplay in the background of me playing with this thing and i like it i've been doing pretty good with it it's definitely different but um yeah you just got to get used to wearing one of these gaming sleeves and i don't really know how expensive these are. i mean if i had to guess bought one of these on amazon it's probably what like 10 20 bucks thank you again to tj exclusive for sending this out let me know if you guys have any other questions about the sarah pad in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and i will See you in the next video.